Hello my science friends, I will show you how to draw the P53 signaling pathway. This is part of my signaling pathway series. You can find the full list on my website drawbiomed.com. I am a scientific illustrator. I also teach at the University of Amsterdam. I make these videos to help scientists to publish their research. These videos will never go viral because they are very specialized. I would appreciate any type of help. Like the video, share the videos, or use the thanks button to contribute to the project. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. First, I will grab the oval tool and draw an ellipse. This will be the, the cell body. Okay, uh, stroke, I mean, 10 is too much. Six, let's do six. You can use whichever color you like for your cell. If you want to change the outline color, hold shift and click on the color. If you don't hold shift, then the color will be inside of the shape. It will be the fill. Now, let me grab the gradient tool and create a gradient. Make sure you activate this toggle snapping on and off uh, to keep it on. Inkscape will and select the shape. Use the gradient tool and Inkscape will notify you when your cursor is hovering on top of the center of the ellipse. Click and drag, then you can create a radial gradient. Let's put a lighter blue and then a and then white at the center. Maybe even lighter. I think I will also make the outline lighter. P53 is inside of the nucleus, so we need to create a nucleus. I will simply copy the cell body, scale it down to stroke style, change the dashes type to this dash and change the cap type to round cap. Now that is how you create these pores on the nucleus. And I think the pores are too big. So I would change the dash type to a shorter dash. And maybe like a slightly darker. Oh, let me remove the fill. To create P53, just simply create an ellipse and also radio gradient. Um, I would use orange for our P53 and the stroke, let's use black. And the stroke, si uh, stroke size 0 0.25. Uh, then let's grab the text tool and create a text copy 53 so this will be the label um, we need to remove the stroke and then change the fill to black the text size text size make it bigger, maybe 12. So now we have our P53. I can group them. P53s are activated by stress on the cell. We are just going to like simply use text to indicate it. Heat shock, want the stress. UV is a big one. UV will uh, induce DNA damage. That's create an arrow, like an indirect arrow that goes all the way into our nucleus. And dash type, dash type here. Is it because the line is too Small. Ah, there we go.
Okay, and marker. Let's use this arrowhead. The arrowhead is a bit small. We can increase the size by, cl uh, by clicking plus sign here. Uh, now I will activate the uh, snapping tool so I can move the arrow. So UV causes DNA damage. And move P53. And we can create the DNA first. Patriot. Activate toggle snapping again. And then I'll grab the Bezier tool and make a parallelogram like this uh, without the outline. And then I switch to the edit path nodes. Click on make selected nodes smooth. Also this one. And I'll turn it around and place it here. Place the handle on top of the main grid intersection. And as same as this one. And now uh, this one. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's use a dark blue and make a copy and flip it horizontal and then switch it to a lighter color place it on top so this is one of the helix i think i will <laughs> extend them like that so we have more space in between the helix this move this to the top and do it for for all of these sessions so i'm putting the dark color to the back so then that segment will look like it is inside of the shadow this one and I remove this now I'll keep I'll keep the endings yes let's go okay DNA damage <laughs> so we need actually need to damage it remove um, turn off the page grid and then I'll just break it apart I can move the DNA damage underneath okay this is what uv does to the dna and gamma radiation does the same and then um uv activates jinx uh uv activates jink and I'll change the Jinx color to purple because it is a kindness. There we go. So this is a simplified version of the P53 pathway.